good morning friends and family youtube worldwide welcome back to the channel i would like to give thanks to the most high for allowing everything possible for allowing me to get to work safely to bring you this content today is good friday today is the best day of the work week today is payday don't forget to pay yourself at least 10 to 15 to 20 percent of your weekly salary Today is week 41 of the $1.52 week challenge, cash stuffing and coin dropping vacation sinking fund. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I am just sharing what works for me. Here, we manage our money wisely. Here, we create a budget. Here, we save first and spend later. Here, we set financial goals. Here we invest early, here we avoid debt. To summarize what I just said, here we earn, save, and invest for the long haul. Here we are building a solid financial foundation. Here we make sure we are fully funded weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. We are money managers, and as the head of the money management team, I would like to go through the three golden rules of money management. Rule number one, don't spend more than you earn. Rule number two, always plan for the future. Rule number three, help your money grow. So we are going to count as we always do in the beginning of the video to make sure that we have $25 in this row, so we throw this away. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. As always, they are accurate, and I have sixteen dollars here. Since it's week 41, we are going to put $41 in dollar coins in here. All right, so let's start the process. And I'm going to, to share something with you all, as I always do and as I always stress. You know, I am very, very passionate when it comes to helping people. You know, I do this. To help those that find it difficult to save all you got to do is start you know all you got to do is start you can start with one dollar you can save a dollar a week if you want to you know it, it adds up you know if you save a dollar a week that'll be 52 dollars a year that you'll be saving but i'm pretty sure once you start saving i know by week three you might want to increase you know, um, from $1 to 2 You know, you know when it snows, I don't know if you ever noticed, when it snows, it starts to snow light. And when you hear the forecasters saying that we're going to have two, two to three feet of snow, but when it first starts to snow, it's like snow. And then over time, it accumulates. And that's how it is with savings. When you save, you know, it, it over time, it adds up. You know, so that's why it's very, very important to save money. You know, you wanna have money whenever an emergency happens, you wanna be fully prepared. You know, you know, you, you know, you save you save it on purpose. You know, just like, it's a purpose to why you're saving. You know, and you want to always be prepared just in case anything happens. All right, so I just wanted to stress that with you all. You know, and I love I love what I do. I love doing this. You know, it's something that I love to do, and I know that I'm helping somebody along the way. All right, so we have eight hundred and sixty-one dollars in dollar coins. As you can see, it's going to be full to the top by the time we're finished with this challenge so we just put $41 and we have 
$861.41 in dollar coins. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the notes. And we have, we will have $861 in notes. So let's take this and count $41. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one. Perfect. Wow. Let's double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one. Okay. So we have week forty one. $41. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Hope your day went well today. And I hope your day goes well tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put this. Yeah, I'm looking fit, but. We're going to make it fit. All right. There you go. And then we are going to fill this in. Make sure we are fully funded. This, and we're going to put $25 towards our vacation. Well, it's not going to be vacation fund anymore. It's going to be Christmas fund. All right, we're going to save for Christmas. And this is for the recoup. All right, I'm gonna leave this blank. So when I come back from vacation, I'm gonna see, hopefully I could bring back some more money. And then we're gonna add that towards our Christmas, our Christmas fund. Okay, so we are in the second week of the month. You know what, let me, let's do this first. We are in the second week of the month of October. So we are fully funded with the mortgage portion. We are fully funded with the insurance. We are fully funded with the oil bill. And we are fully funded with the water bill. Something is missing. I think I gotta put my phone, water bill, oil bill, mortgage, my phone bill. We're gonna put phone bill. And fully fund the week one, fully fund the week two. All right. So we are done with this also. And we are going to fully fund our recoup. We are going to put $25 towards our recoup. And this is going to go to the bank at the end of the month to get another stack of singles. All right, so we have 20, 40, 50. And this is for the recoup. And then $25 is going to go, 25 is gonna to go towards our Christmas fund. All right, and let me give you the quote of the week. And the quote of the week is by Dave Ramsey and is I believe that through knowledge and discipline financial peace is possible for all of us that's by Dave Ramsey I believe that through knowledge and discipline financial peace is possible for all of us I approve this message I approve the quote <laughs> okay friends and family hope you all have a good weekend wonderful weekend and thank you for watching my content. I really, really, really appreciate it. Peace and love.